Welcome to the season premiere of All Mixed Up. This is the All-Star Edition. We've invited back the winners from our first three series to come back and battle appetizer, entree, and dessert. But here's the catch. All three enter undefeated, and only one will leave that way. This is All-Star Edition of All Mixed Up, and it starts right now. Cameron Bevan, Emin Eugenio, and Seth Anderson, three former All Mixed Up champs, are going to go at it over the course of three episodes. Each contestant has to prepare an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. You give me anything, I'm gonna make you a five-star meal. As always, our contestants will have to work with three unique ingredients selected by our judges. Worst dish I've seen. <laughs> it wouldn't be called All Mixed Up if we didn't mix it up. Curveballs will be thrown at our contestants during each round, and it's up to them to overcome and adjust to the challenges in their quest to creating the ultimate dishes. We all know who's boss. No competition is complete without judges. Three industry aficionados will be awarding up to 10 stars to the all-star chefs based on taste and presentation. Rosie Cox, representing Domino and CNH Light Sugar and Stevia Blend. Mike Conrad, CEO of Zaycon Foods. Chef D. Lennox, representing Mariani Packing Company. Each judge is representing one of the key ingredients our contestants will be using in their creations. Always leaving us wondering what he'll say next is season one's winner, Cameron Bevan. Guns, money, drugs, bad sunglasses, tattoos, that's how I roll. Right now I'm feeling my chances are through the roof. You know, I'm going up against Emin and... Who's the other guy? Seth. Oh. What sets me apart, number one, is I'm just a flat out better cook. Seth, I have credible sources that say you're not even a threat. As for you, Emin, this is gonna be fun. I hear you can cook, and uh, hey, game on. When we come back, we'll check in with Emin and Seth, and the judges will speak out for the first time. Originally from the Philippines and always cool, calm, and collected is season two winner, Emin Eugenio. Well, currently I'm still working as a nurse, but I'm on the process of renovation in a small place here in the Treasure Coast. It will be a small Vietnamese place. I think I'm ahead of Seth and Cameron since I have a background in the pastry side as well as the savory side. Seth, I'm coming for you. Cameron, you're going down. Bringing God to the table is devout Christian Seth Anderson, who is the only male contestant during season three. Seth Anderson here. People call me Chef Rodamus. I'm 21. I'm just going to kill it. People say that Atlanta hasn't won in a long time. Well, guess what? I'm here. I don't care. So I'm just here to win again in season four. It's the all-star round. And honestly, I don't think the other two can compare. If I win that two grand, I'm just going to lift my truck, have it sitting on 44s, be eye to eye with bus drivers. Emin, you better know that I'm coming for your head. Cam, I don't even know why you're here. Just go home, go get more tattoos, I don't know, maybe a haircut. Welcome, All-Stars, to the All Mixed Up All-Star Kitchen. How you feeling? Good. Pretty Excellent. good, sir. Excellent. Well, you guys know the drill, but I'm going to go over the rules just to be safe. We have three fantastic judges that have brought three fantastic ingredients with them. You're going to be tested in taste and presentation on a five-star scale system on what you do with those ingredients. Each week, we're gonna tally up the stars, and one of you, at the end of it all, is gonna be crowned the all-star, all-mixed-up champion, and win a cash prize of $2,000. Are you ready for that? Hell yeah. Yes. This is the appetizer round, and your ingredients are as follows. Domino, C&H, all-natural sugar and stevia blend, Mariani dried cranberries, and number three, Zaycon applewood smoked ham. But before we get started, let's find out what the judges are really looking for. My name is Dee Lennox, and I'm with the Mariani Packing Company. They are the world's largest independent owner-operated dried processing fruit company. They've been around for over 100 years. They've got people working for their company that are in fourth and fifth generation of their company. They provide cranberries, tart cherries, apricots, pineapple, mango. Remember, it's loaded in antioxidants, it's healthy and fabulous, and it's versatile. So. Let me see what you can do. I cannot wait to see you at the end. Good luck to you all. Hi guys, I'm Rosie Cox and I'm here representing Domino Light and CNH Light. I blend a pecan sugar along with stevia. 
The great thing about this product that you can take a regular sugar recipe and replace it half amount of Domino Light and CNH Light. The final result is half of the calories and half of the carbs on your final creation. So, best of luck and a great taste to everyone. Gentlemen, my name is Mike Conrad from Zaycom Foods and I'm excited to be here. Today we're going to bring an applewood smoked ham and a hickory smoked bacon. And I think you guys are going to love it. We are an outside of the box type company. We're changing how food is delivered to people. And we think that you guys can do the same thing in your industry. I'm interested to see what you guys can take and create with what I've brought to the table. I can't believe he just pulled out scorpion pepper sauce. This is some of the hottest stuff you can possibly imagine. Seth, Cameron, Emmett, your first ingredient is gonna be Domino, CNH, cane sugar, and stevia blend. You'll be given 30 minutes to prepare a wonderful appetizer, and your time starts now. Chef Seth for the win. Um, let's do it. What we got here? I am making a Vietnamese spring rolls, and I'm also using um, the Domino Light sugar. Yes. For and less. how are you gonna use that on the? I'm gonna use it as a sweetener for my sauce. because I did four sauces in 30 minutes, including cooking uh, wings in three different methods. So I was nervous. I have a mojito glaze, a teriyaki glaze, and a sweet avocado puree. Isn't she lovely? Well, I start whipping up my, my vinaigrette, and I'll be damned. Chef Ralph Pagano. Gentlemen, I have right here inside my little magic mixing bowl an opportunity for each of you to gain five stars out of the gate. I unveil to you the five-star challenge. Oh, yeah. Evan, the only thing that's separating you and five stars is a spoonful of some of this ghost and scorpion pepper love. Would you like some? Sure. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. Uh. Why not? I, I'm Asian. I love spicy food. So I earned five points. Awesome. You know, like, right on. Go for it, big boy. That's the most spiciest chili paste that I tasted in my entire life. There are three men crying and no onions to be found. My sweat is like, I yes. don't know, it's like teardrops all over. My nose is running. I see Emin hunched over the sink. Ralph is patting his precious little starred head. Um, <laughs> ever so gingerly trying to baby him back into recognition of what, what the f is actually going on. <laughs> Put <laughs> better, right? No. If I'm gonna pass out here, you're gonna catch me. <laughs> yeah! And it's back! How you doing, sweetheart? It's a good thing. I'm still on it. Anybody want 10 more stars? I'll take it. Hey, what the hell? 10 stars. This time around, I'm taking it. Guess what? <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm never going to do that again. That's a gift that keeps giving. Buttermilk and beer. That's dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, Cameron picks up 15 stars. Some things separate the men from the boys. Woo! Well, right here, what I have is tuna sashimi with a red water crest and Cherville floral salad. Looks to be a little overdressed. Um, for my days, I me. don't think it's too much dress. You don't think so? No, okay. I enjoy it. I, I know how my stuff tasted. I don't know how their stuff tasted, but I hope I got the right flavors. Unlike my competitors, instead of using the stevia in one way, I used it in four. I am not crazy about the avocado, though. I think this one is a little okay. more cooking for me. It's a little pink for me. Yeah. Yes. I'm not yes. going to try that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because you want me, a little salmonella? No. Yeah, not today. I made 
today a tum goi kun. Tum goi kun is a Vietnamese spring rolls. Oh my gosh, that is. Mm, mm. Guys, wow. mm, the domino light and CNH light on this sauce is absolutely delicious. I agree <laughs> with you 100%. Oh. Gentlemen, you did very well in the first round. As you know, we're moving into the second round right now. Your ingredient is going to be Mariani sweet dry cranberries. One of my favorite delicious snacks. You have 30 minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. Chicken tenderloin. Little do they know that I've got a great trick up my sleeve. They're not going to ever see it coming. Let me ask you a question. Do you trust him? Do you trust him? you trust him? Seth, walk on over. I'd like you to get a quick instruction on how to use that camera for it. On this shoulder right there, like that. Put your hand, balance it there. This is your zoom and your focus. Work in the camera. Oh boy. <laughs> Do I have some miles on that? Just, you know, show me the odds and ends. Zoom. You know, I mean, it's the same thing as doing porno. I'm very good at that. Switcheroo right here, please. Here we go. Now, here I am. It's a $50,000 camera. Holding this uh, professional have... video camera. Um, take off your gloves. Peel the camera and the mic down. Steve, how you doing over here? Doing good. Excuse me, sir. Everybody hey, get you some water over there. Excuse me, sir. Right there? Did I miss it? I gotta make sure that I just get, I gotta give proper direction in order to get them where they need to be. You know what? I'm gonna deliver the news. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Back where they go. Camera guys, switch back out. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. What you got here? This is something you're going to love. Mm -hmm. That's just a little bit of what's to come. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. This is documented. What you got there, Cam? Oh, man, I got some devilishly delicious things going on. Actually, what I'm putting together is something a little special. All right. A nice little cranberry jam. Hi, how are what you? What did you make for us today? Oh, I made an Asian-inspired dish again. I made a Thai lettuce wrap. Well, but why does it do Asian stuff all the time? I, I wonder if he does. I, I wish he could do something different. Wow. This is probably the best thing I've had all day. It's deviled eggs with ham and truffle on croon with the cranberry jam. Wow, what's delicious about this is the Mariani uh, cranberries, which is really, it's, it's very delicious. I think it's a really nice pairing. A devil egg should be something that's creamy and- uh, A little more moist. Moist. Yeah. Yeah. Balsamic cranberry with jumbo lump crab and brie quesadilla. You don't mix brie with American cheese. I could, I could not have another bite of it. Right now we're introducing some pork to the game. Zaycon Applewood smoked ham which I happen to have a pretty fine hankering for. I'm gonna put 30 minutes on the clock. And the time starts now. Hi, how are you, Mike? I'm doing good. Good. What are you making? Actually, I'm making here like a Filipino-inspired bread rolls with ham and cheese inside. You stuff it with ham and cheese inside and roll it with an egg wash and panko breadcrumbs. You fry it and you're all done. So I've noticed that this is like your third Asian dish. I love Asian dishes since uh, I'm Asian. Yeah. You are? Yes, I'm Filipino. <laughs> In the middle of the round, Ralph comes around and asks us to pick a number between one and 10. <laughs> Set. I think of a number between one and 10. Six. Incorrect. Evan, I think of a number between one and 10. Eight. Eight. That is incorrect. Cameron. Seven. Six. What'd you say? Seven. Well, the lucky number is seven. Cameron, you are the winner by picking number seven. And you know what happens? Uh, I'm shaving seven minutes off the time. That's right, for three ham and cheese sandwiches. After, after my seven minutes has been taken off, my brain's just going in haywire at this point. Uh, oh, no, what a nightmare. Yeah, this is where it's going bad, guys. I'm putting together my roulade. It's falling apart completely. It's all bad. Oh, bad. Oh, no. It's going as wrong as it possibly could. The 
dish that I'm doing is a, uh, it's a Niswa style uh, ham rollatini. Zaycon gave us a, a good applewood smoked ham. I mean, I grew up eating that. It's something that I'm familiar with. Ham and cheese rolls with a salad on the side with a frico. Well, my Zaycon Foods ham is awesome. It always is. I just <laughs> tried the salad, <laughs> yeah. and it's the same taste that we had on the dish before. Niswa style ham rollatini. It has cream cheese, blue cheese, parsley, and spinach. I think because the ham is sliced so thick, it was hard to cut. I could not taste the ham, and that's not what I'm looking for. We deconstructed croque monsieur. I think so it's spicy. very creative. And the, the honey with the chili, mm -hmm. oh, it made it yeah. so perfect. This is exactly what I was expecting. When we come back, our judges will tell us their opinion on which all-star made the best appetizers using the key ingredients of sugar and stevia blend, sweet and dried cranberries, and smoked ham. Our all-star contestants have prepared three different appetizers using sugar and stevia blend, sweet and dried cranberries, and applewood smoked ham. The judges have tasted their dishes and are ready to deliver the verdict. I really enjoy uh, how you use the peanut sauce and the use of product in it. I thought that uh, the shrimp could have been a little more flavorful, and then the basil was very overpowering. I like the idea that you have on the chicken wings, but I wasn't crazy about the presentation. The avocado sauce, I really didn't think it work. The sashimi with the floral salad, to me, had a very aromatic taste and wasn't overpowering. And I love our product, the Domino Light and CNH Light on that dish. I thought the salad was a bit overdressed. And so it took away from the texture, the consistency I thought you were trying to have. I love that, I don't know what you call it, a compote or a jam or what. It's a relish. It's a relish, fantastic, delicious. I do not like cranberries, so I was like, oh, this is gonna be wonderful. And so, but it was awesome. It was really good. The one challenge that I had with your dish was that you used the American cheese, which really, um, took it to another place. It took away from the beautiful lump crab. I thought the presentation was okay, but the taste, I couldn't eat it. We enjoyed that. We thought that was delicious. It was very flavorful. Uh, the one critique that we gave on it was the, the devil egg itself was um, a bit dry. With what you did, it didn't hit that mark. It didn't elevate the ham. I couldn't really taste the ham. I mean, I could a little bit, but because I was focused on the oil and the taste of that oil. I would like you to diversify a little bit more. To be honest with you, I was very disappointed with this one. The blue cheese just was too much and I couldn't even taste the ham at all. I expect more from you because I know you can deliver. The deconstructed ham and cheese sandwich is what I call it. Across the board for me, I was, I loved it. And I, like the other judges, agree uh, wholeheartedly. I thought your presentation was fantastic. Everything was perfect about it. I mean, it was really, really spot on. Thank you. Well, it's quite an interesting round. There's been some scoring, and it goes as follows. Seven. You're trailing the pack with 55 gold stars. Evan, you're in second place with 76. And Cameron, that puts you in the lead with 91 gold stars. Your 10-point play really seemed to work out, and your dishes really wowed the judges. But as you know, here in the All Mixed Up Kitchen, anything goes, and next week we're gonna move into the entree round, and one of you guys is gonna be closer to the grand prize, being undefeated at 2,000 American dollars. When your view is obstructed with something so intrusive, it's a challenge.